While the long wait is over for so many businesses across Connecticut, yes, there are plenty of guidelines to abide by, but nail salons, bowling alleys, health clubs and hotels and restaurants are taking things inside. Fox 61's Jim Altman begins in West Hartford. The day has arrived. <laughs> and the doors have opened. We're excited. It's almost like a, a rebirth of the restaurant. It's almost like 21 years ago. From health clubs to hotels, taking things inside <laughs> is finally upon us. We followed Bob Cook, the owner of Max Oyster Bar in West Hartford, on his long road back. One of many restaurateurs happy to dish about what phase two will do. You know, it, we've done every precaution as far as detail cleaning and sanitizing, and inside's the heartbeat of the restaurant. You know, the decor, the interaction, and it's, it's just a great feeling to come in here, and we're so excited to be back open. Restaurants across the state now have their doors open, but they're required to be at half capacity inside their dining rooms. So this is great to have, you know, another 80 seats in the dining room and be able to take reservations and, and welcome our guests back. In Old Weathersfield, something new. This isn't a reopening, it's a grand opening. After weeks of waiting, Bryce Hardy, the owner of The Charles, can welcome guests. So our intent to open was uh, the end of April, so we got pushed back because of the virus. We uh, moved forward and now we're finally here. And the special of the day isn't necessarily on the menu. It's the progress that phase two provides. I've been coming out to restaurants and eating at, um, on patios, but there's just a different vibe and ambiance about dining inside that I'm really excited about. It's a great step. And, you know, and again, it's, it's rebirth and of our restaurant. It's very exciting for the staff. I'm, I'm jazzed. It was 90 days of, you know, pure torture, not being around people and, and our guests and our staff, and, and we're back. In West Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.